It is time once again for Barrow Katia, the Void Trader, to make his grand entrance on PC. He will be located on the Corona Relay, which is Saturn. PlayStation's the same place, the Corona Relay on Saturn. Xbox is the Leonov Relay on Europa. And over on Switch, Strata Relay on Earth. So let's jump in and see what he has brought to PC first of all. Okay, I kind of like the effect to this. It is just another fighter decoration, but the best thing is it's not all the way down here in the floor. So you can actually see it, and you can see what looks like a shield around it, which has kind of a nice effect to it. Won't lie, for 100 ducats, that actually looks pretty nice. There is MAME, 120% slash 4 pistol, high voltage, 60% electrical and status chance for rifle, Prime Charge Shell, 165% electricity for the shotgun. The Pedestal Prime, not often this thing turns up, though I still think the um, Pedestal Umbra, or Umbra Pedestal, or whatever that is called, looks slightly better. The Zanuka Hunter Beacon, this will, you can use it once per mission, but you can have many, and it will summon Zanuka to you, which is great if you are trying to get a hold of the normal Detron. There is the Prisma Nebris. Shoulder plates, the Katia Foros chest plate, the Katia Foros leg plates. As you could probably guess at this point, the Katia Foros shoulder plates, both of them. At least it has the S on the end. It's actually worded correctly for a, t a change. The Katia Atmos earpieces. There is the Katia Raza Sandana. Still kind of looks like Neja's face, but. Never mind. The Anpu staff skin that used to have the best presentation of a weapon ever, and they took it away. Barrow used to have it held out in his hand as if he was handing it to you. Now, the Warframe has it. Kind of a shame, to be honest. The Ignis Wraith. Check trading. A lot of people give these away for free. Never, ever pay platinum for these things. I say it every single time it turns up. Barrow's kind of a last resort if you can't, but honestly, people tend to give these away in trading anyway. Because some clans have it, not all of them, sadly. There is the Nexus Gene Masking Kit that is obviously a fur pattern for a cavat. Come all the way back out of that. The Katia stencil for your personal quarters on your orbiter. There is Mirage's Immortal Skin that I do like the look of this. It doesn't look too bad on her. The Axie A5 relic, that is for the dual wielding Vastor Prime. The weapon of choice, the Galaxian Vandal. There are many ways of getting this. It is tradable. You can get it from, actually, no, that's the Opticore I'm thinking of. Events that return sometimes. Or get it from Barrow. If you really want it, Pick it up from Barrow, because that thing is actually a pretty decent weapon. The Prisma Lotus Glyph. There is the Vez Luxum Ornament. Landing craft decoration that just kind of spins around. Hmm. Split flights. On hit, 100% multi-shot. Minus 80% accuracy for two seconds. Stacks up to four times for non AOE bows. There is the Katia Domestic Drone. I know it's the Domestic Katia Drone, but to be fair, it's better worded as the Katia domestic drone because it's Katia styled and it's a domestic drone. The Lemnus staff skin. This was, I do believe this was from a Tenocon. I'm not too sure about that because somebody said it was from somewhere else and I'm just not arguing it anymore. The Sands of Anorus blueprint fixed item will always bring it and if you come to see him with Anorus prime equipped there will be the barrel void signal as well. Jumping over to console where we see Barrow has a rather big face on these displays. Over here there is the, still cannot pronounce it, Cult Sandana. There is Primed Smite Infested, that is obviously for the melee. The Primed Cryo Rounds, 165% cool damage for rifles. Depending what elemental combo you run, that can be very, very useful. The Lisette Prisma skin. There is the Machete Wraith. Not bad from what everybody keeps telling me. The Katia Tribute Glyph. Ooh, Combo Fury. Throwable melee. Hmm, 100% reload speed. 100% magazine capacity for 12 seconds. Is fairly useful. The Katia Diax Sandana. 
There is the Katia Arrow, just a skin that goes on pretty much every arrow. Three day credit booster. There is the Kavat Sentinel mask, the Kavat Sentinel tail, and as you could probably have guessed, the Kavat Sentinel wings tend to always come as a set. The Prisma Rostum Kubro armor, I do like this. Barrows looks horrid because it's just a really big heavy collar around its neck. This actually looks much better. The bronze Kubro bust, landing craft decoration. Speaking of the optical vandal, there it is. And getting it from the event, that is the, re the thermal fractures is returning constantly, but you can get it from here. Either that or it was the optical that came from that. I can never remember which one came from which. The Prisma companion poster, there is Mesa's immortal skin. Her Grax skin looks much better, but sadly, well, at least on console, you can buy it with platinum. But that does look nice nonetheless. The Machete skin. I've seen this in so many different places recently. It's actually becoming very popular. The Prisma Latron, Latron, sorry, shoulder plates. I do like the Prisma Latron stuff. And oh, it's all here because there's the chest plate and the leg plates that go with it. There is the Deimos... Prex card, one of them. Still not trying to pronounce those names. Sans Venaris blueprint, Fear Path Ephemera, and as mentioned before, if you have Venaris Prime equipped, then yeah, that little thing will appear, the Barrow signal, but don't have him on console. I'm about 98% sure it's the Optical Vandal that comes from the Thermia Fractures event, so I would try and get it there before or you buy it from Barrow, just like the Ignis Wraith. It was an event thing that added it to certain clans, not all of them have it, but most people give these things away for free. So, would not recommend ever buying this, and never, ever pay Platinum for it. Cannot stress that one enough. But, as always, on PC, console, everywhere he is, he will be around for two days. If you, there is something you want, you have until Sunday to get in and pick it up. Otherwise, there's no need to panic. Everything he brings will cycle back through, so we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.